welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. Um, if you're new to the show, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. I'm going to be answering questions and helping people connect with loved ones on the other side today, as I do every Monday and Wednesday. If you would like to call in and ask a question, the call-in number is 845 277 9131. Um, or if you're watching on YouTube Live, you can just put your question in the chat and I'll be happy to answer it there. All righty. I am going to start the way I start every single week, and that is with um, names and um, Names. Uh, it could be your name, your loved one's name from the other side, or somebody that you have in common, their name. So when I say the name, if you're, if that's your loved one or your name, or like your, your somebody in your family's name or their best friend or horse or dog or whatever, it's for you. Okay. The first name I'm hearing is Robert or Bob. The next name is Ly Lila. The next name is Bethany. The next name is Mark Markal or Mark Markai. It's M A R K A. Maybe I or L. Markal or Mike Markai. Okay. The next name is um, Jacinda. The next name is Ruth. The next name is Edna. The next name is William. And I'm gonna do one more name and the name is Faith. Okay, those are the names. Now I'm gonna do songs. This could be a song your loved one loved, you loved, or the song could literally be answering a question for you that you've been trying to figure out the answer to. Um, so the first song is I'm All Out of Love, which comes through every once in a while. <laughs> I'm not going to sing that one. If I can just say the song without singing it, I will. Uh, the next song is it's raining men. Hallelujah. It's raining men. Um, the, the next one is um, staying alive, staying alive. Yeah, I don't, I think it's literally called staying alive. So that's the one. And then I hear Disco Nights. Okay, somebody is like, seriously, what is that from the 60s or this? Somebody is like a disco person here. I'm not even joking. Okay, the next song is, um, I think it's Viva Las Vegas. Is that a movie, a song, or both? Okay, and then I'm going to do two more songs. Um, the next song is... Uh, uh, Miss, Mr. Asian man. I don't think that's the right words. <laughs> I don't, I don't think it's Mr. Asian man or secret Asian man. Maybe it's secret Asian man. I, I just feel like that might not be the words. I feel like secret Asian man, or maybe it's secret agent man. That makes more sense. Oh no! <laughs> Somebody tell me, <laughs> is that the right? Is that the right secret agent man or Asian man? I don't know. It could be either. Whatever it is, you're gonna know if you know. Okay. Um, again, if you would like to call in, the call in number is eight four five two seven seven nine one three one. If you would like to ask a question in the chat, the um, go right ahead and do that. If you're joining us here live on YouTube. Okay, I'm going to go to the first caller and the first caller is 8519. 
850, what's your name and where are you calling from? Michelle, I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Michelle, how can I help you today? Well, I'm supposed to meet somebody, and, and uh, so I'm just curious, you know, like how soon and like, you know, how old is he or what does he do for a living or, you know, just some more information about him. Okay, Michelle, um, June, I keep hearing June. So as long as you do everything you're supposed to do, meaning, you know, focus in on yourself and uh, completely let go of the past and get ready to move on and get out and about, it will be June. Um, I don't know that I can tell you very much about him at this point. I think that's going to be a little bit up to you and how much healing you do for yourself. We don't want a repeat of any of our past people. So the more you work on yourself in this time, um, the better the the better the um, the the better the guy will be. But I do see that he is okay. So I'll nope. I think that's just somebody from the other side. I don't think that's the person coming in. Um, here's what I'll tell you. The person coming in, you're going to think that they are somewhat boring, but they're actually not boring. They're actually just not chaotic or drama filled. Okay. Um, they're just an right. honest, good person. So they might seem boring at first because you're not doing the emotional up and down that sometimes we do in a relationship. So please don't mistake that for boring. A, a good, healthy relationship feels peaceful, calm, and we don't have those feelings of nervousness and chaos with it. And we shouldn't, but a lot of people have not experienced that, so they don't realize that. So you're going to know mm. from that that that's one sign this is the right person. Um, you will be attracted to this person, but you're going to question if this person can you know, is, again, exciting enough. So don't mistake excitement with uh, uh, being, like, don't don't think that, that the person's going to be boring because um, I don't want to repeat myself, but don't look for that, that uh, adrenaline charge with the person. Look for the adrenaline charge with the activities or the excitement with what you might be doing, but not with the person because the person should not give you an adrenaline charge. The person should keep everything calm and you should feel very calm and safe with the person, okay? Okay. Excellent. Michelle, That's awesome. Thank you so much for calling in and please um, remember to do the work on yourself so that by the time the person gets there, you are also a very you're you're internally peaceful okay love okay honey thank you so much you're so welcome and as i mute you i'm going to do a clearing that we are where we need to be for our next partner and i'm going to clear that oh i'm feeling that so apparently maybe i have some work i still need to do <laughs> It's all right. We're all working. We're all works in progress. We are all works in progress. So I'm going to go to the next question, which is um, online. And um, I hope this is a question. Do you see the neighbor who rented my dad's apartment is involved with another lawsuit currently? Okay. Um, Yes. Yes. Um, I'm just getting a yes. I hope that that is very helpful. And I think you're going to know for sure 
this month or within a month. Okay, love? I hope that was really, really super helpful. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 229. 229, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name's Adriana. I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Adriana, how can I help you tonight? <clears throat> Just going through a really, really tough situation, and I'm going to skip straight to the question. Um, got a new potential, what I think could be a serious relationship with this guy, but I just, from my past issues, I'm feeling like I'm holding back because of my trauma, and I just don't know if it's really what I feel like it is, or I don't know, I'm getting told everything in my mind, like, off of it, and it's the way I want it. I don't know. I just need... I completely understand. <laughs> I completely understand. So the first thing I'm going to say is on TikTok, I have so many healings and clearings and they're 60 seconds each. And in past shows, there are so many healings and clearings, especially about relationships. I think Monday I did a whole bunch of relationship clearings on the show, but right now we're going to start first with um, some clearings. This is for you, everybody listening, re-listening, um, watching, whatever it is. And we're for, the first thing we're going to start to clear is the trauma. And that is on the TikTok. Um, if you go to TikTok, you'll find that. So, you know, sometimes we let go of things how we can, not how we want to. So if something is keeping us safe, we'll hold on to it. But as we let go of layers, more can go. So if you need to re-listen to this or go go to the videos and find the trauma one that will help you to um, mm -hmm. release more. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start to clear trauma, all that caused it, all that kept it. And we're going to clear the cycle and the programs and the beliefs that the trauma caused. So we're going to take that out. And I'm hearing PTSD. So we're going to start to clear that too and pull that out for you. Now, when I say we, I really mean your angels or your spirit team is coming. Is Boy, they are working it. They are coming in and they are pulling this out and I can feel it. That's why I'm, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, they are working it. They are really going to start pulling this out. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to clear you to be ready for a healthy relationship so that you and anybody else listening or watching, uh, we are ready, willing, and able to be in a healthy relationship. Um, anything stopping or blocking that has cleared, we're going to move that out of the way. And here's the one I'm hearing that's really important for you, and that is we have let go of all the hurt, pain, suffering, and everything else that has happened in past relationships. And this isn't only with lava lovas. This is with family and friends. And we're going to start pulling that, clearing that. Holy cow. And releasing that. Now, what happens is you might feel lighter at the end of this clearing you might feel the room get brighter or you might not feel anything, but eventually, and sometimes it's right away, and sometimes it can take up to a month, you will notice the difference in the way you're acting and reacting in situations. So what I'm gonna ask you now after all of that, I would like the guy's first initial or name. Um, J. J, okay. Dobbin. Okay. I'm asking like five questions right now. Um, I don't ask the same way you do. So my first question is, is he serious about you? Yes. Is he good for you? Yes. Is he a player? No. I always, always have to ask that one. Get that right out of the way. He, <laughs> he may have been at one time, but but I, I feel like whatever that might have been when he was super duper young, but he's not, he's more, he's, he's serious now. He's more serious now. Are any of his exes interfering? Nope. Family. Nope. I'm getting, he, he has a pretty clean slate right now. 
okay? Now I go to the question, do these two make a good couple? Yes, will this relationship last? That's where I get a yes, no. And that is because it's up to both of you and each of your ways that you handle conversations and relationships. I'm gonna say this, if you are skeptical or je not jealous, if you have trust issues, that is the best way to say it, or he has trust issues, it will you know, make this relationship very difficult um, if they're unwarranted. So try to have the conversation about a transparent relationship up front at this point. Just say, you know, if, if we're going to be intimate, whatever, however you want to say it, um, let's have transparency. And I think anybody who's serious about somebody and not effing around will want transparency. That's just my take on it. There are people who say you should just trust people. No, mm-mm. Mm -mm. I believe um, people who don't have anything to hide don't care. Okay, I will flip my phone over and give you my password at any given moment. If you cannot do the same, we cannot. We cannot. We cannot bump the, the bump the you know bump the thing. <laughs> Yeah. I'm trying to think of a word I can say without getting in trouble. <laughs> you cannot willy wonk on me. You cannot dip your stick in me. You cannot check your oil in my in my oil. You cannot do if you're not willing to do that, then I'm not willing to give you entryway. And that that's just me though. But I think that if you guys have this conversation, it'll be good. Um he is serious about you. And there, as far as I'm picking up right now, there's no one else. There's nothing else going on. He's a uh, pretty uh, so, solo dolo. I don't, I don't know what that really means. But he's so he's he's singular. He does though. This is one thing. And I, I, either you, him, or both of you command respect. For you need to bring that to the table. And I think relationships, all relationships should just be very respectful. Um, so if, remember that don't, even in your heated moments, um, he might, don't get disrespectful because I feel like that will be something that will be held against you later on. Um, is he, do you know when his birthday is? I don't need the exact date. I want to ask, is he a Scorpio? Do you know? Close, he's a Libra. Okay, I would check that this, oh, they are freaky deaky. I think it's Libra that's freaky deaky. I'm not sure. Anyway. I'm a Libra too. <laughs> okay, I would check. <laughs> If he has Scorpio in his chart, because there's an aspect of him that can be like the Scorpio, like, if you wronged me, look out, because I'll be waiting to get my lick back. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty. Way. That's so funny. Okay, yes. Okay, then it's a, it's, a, it's a Libra thing, too. So be always keep it respectful. Always keep it very, very, very respectful. Um, it's better when, if you're very upset, don't say anything rather than than say say something that can't be can't be fixed. Okay, and then the the other thing I'm just gonna say one more thing, and then I'm gonna move to the next person is, um, he you oh, really? Okay, I uh, I do feel like it's going to be very intimately intense <laughs> so okay. that can make that can uh, i'm just gonna say this that can make people a little bit crazy okay if the intimacy is extremely intense and yummy it can make 
<laughs> I know, right? But I, I just, I, I, it can make people a little bit insecure, right? Because that part is so phenomenal. So it can, so be, let your freak flag fly. Okay. But be aware that it could, it could cause, I don't know if insecure is the right word, but it can cause like that. Okay. Really high passion in that area can cause passion. And it, like, there's a thing with it where it can cause you to I don't know the right words for this. I don't, I know what they're trying to say, but I just want to say it correctly. It can cause some, some fear of losing it maybe, or something like that. So just keep that, yeah. keep those emotions like in grip, uh, you know, keep those emotions in grip, but ha girl, have some fun man have some fun it looks like you're going to so i can say less now i can just say less okay oh my goodness thank you so much you are so welcome now now i want to tell you this that doesn't mean just because this has the possibility of working out jump all in and act as if you've taken all the steps it's so important in a relationship to take those steps. Those steps are there for a reason. Earning each other is there for a reason. When you jump forward and miss steps, res some respect is lost. And it's it if you you really appreciate and value what you earn. So so still take those steps to earn each other. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Alrighty, girl. Alrighty. I hope that was Thank helpful. Thank you so much. Have you a blessed one. You too. Thank yes, you so very much. Though. Thank you so much, love. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you guys. If you'd like to call in, the call in number is um, 845 277 I'm going to go to the next question. Um, I think the next is so you guys, if I miss your question, please don't get upset. And if you already asked one question, I'm going to skip over you to the next person asking a question just to make sure I'm getting people. If I get through all the questions, I'll come back up and try to get the people that maybe have two questions if I have time. Okay. Here's my question again. This is from Kate. Um, what will my work situation look like? Will I stay where I am or move, change jobs? Okay. Is she going to change jobs? No, I get, I get you're going to, it's ultimately it's up to you. Um, but as of right now, the way everything looks, you're going to stay where you are and go with that. You may at some point decide to change, but that time is it now when you haven't decided that yet. Um, in about a month, something's going to come in that's going to give you an option and you can decide from there. But as of, as of right now, everything looks like it's going to be the way it is. And if you decide to change in a month, you can, but I, I feel like you're just not going to love. I hope that's, I hope that's helpful. I'm going to go to the next caller. And the next caller is 215. 215, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Susan. I'm calling from Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Okay, love. How are you today? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm excellent, sweetie. Thank you for asking. How can I help you? Um, My relationship. I was wondering where it's going. Um, this may sound stupid. Uh, okay, so um, we do cleaning buildings at night. Um, and me and my partner, you know, we've been doing it for years together. He said he needed help. And he hired this woman. And um, now, mind you, we were doing the buildings together. And... It's been three weeks now, and I feel pretty messed up because I don't think it takes three weeks to teach somebody how to clean. 
And when I brought that to his attention, he said, oh, well, uh, I can't leave the doors open, meaning office doors, because she don't know the codes. I said, well, you should write the code down for her, and then she hasn't. Because you could be doing another building, you wanted help. You could be doing another building, like I'm doing another building, and we can get done faster, because all this was so we can spend time together. And instead of just working and not spending no quality time together. Um, like when he's home, it's like he don't want to talk. I brought it up to him and he says he loves me. He don't want to lose me, but I just feel like something else is going on. I just got a weird feeling. Okay. Um, so what I, can I please have his first name or his first initial? Okay. 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 Thank you. Um, so here's here's what I'm going to say, love. Um, you guys are going to stay together no matter what. Um, I feel like the two of you will stay together um, regardless of everything and anything. Um, he is working this third person. There's, there, I keep getting, I've asked three times, three different ways. There's nothing other than work going on between them. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, that's just, that's the answer I'm getting. Um, the other thing that I am getting is, if you're, you know, the one thing, if you're, if you're feeling Oh, a certain way about this. You go with her and let him do the other thing. And that solves everything. Now, I'm going to tell you this. And I, I, I get where you are. And I get why you're feeling the way you do. I, I really do. But as of right now, I'm getting... There's, there's nothing... There's, uh, let me ask it one more way. Nothing going on now. There's and eventually, like, we're not sexually active. It's been a month now. Mm -hmm. And, like, if I say, let's talk, uh, he'll just lay there like he's a dead mummy. Like, I told him, I said, you don't react. It's like, I'm the man and you're the woman. I got to do everything first. And I understand as us women, you know, you put sexy underwear on, lingerie on. It usually pokes a guy up, but, you know, he says he's overworked. But come on, I do just as much work you do, but I still can put that in my menu. Okay, when it, uh, here's what I'm going to tell mm -hmm. you. And I'm, I don't go any place. Okay, love, I'm going to, I'm going to answer this and I, I want to answer it appropriately. Whatever I predict for the future for him and somebody else, that can change based on behaviors of you, him, and that other person. What I would say if, if you, the way I'll say this is, Pull back trying. Pull, what I'm hearing is stop trying. Remember, men like to chase and conquer, although I, I never seem to be able to, you know, live by that. But men like to, it's, <laughs> uh, men like to chase and conquer and men even when they're in a relationship, they still like to be the person that is the pursuer or the person that is um, the dominant, the male, the masculine, whatever word you want to use. So pull back a little bit, be preoccupied, get yourself busy. Instead of worrying about him, worry about you, take yourself to the spa or do a home spa thing. Let yourself, you know, be you with you and your family, friends, whatever it is, um, and pull away. And after a minute of that, 
I wouldn't be surprised if the behavior doesn't turn around. It's very difficult when we are questioning a man and then trying to jump on the man for him to get excited. Okay, men are not emotional the same way we are. They're emotional in a different, a different type of emotional. And it's very, it can be psychological for a man. So for, you're going to pull back, don't bring up the third person. Believe me, let me tell you something. If there's something ever going on there, you will know. You, you will, not because you're suspicious, be, just because he has time with a third person, but because you will definitely know, okay? Um, so please um, understand that. And I have, even on the show, told people in the nicest possible way, if there is third party influence, the only, right as of right now, the third party influence I'm getting is that the this person just being in your presence is bothering you. And as of right now, I am getting, there's nothing going on. Now I can't stop it. I can't, whatever happens in the future, whatever, I'm just going to say this. Um, again, the, the, I just keep hearing it again and again, pull back, pull back on conversation about this woman, pull back on conversation about work and definitely pull back on trying to, you know, get your freak on with him, pull back, let go, completely release that just for a minute. Uh, and let him be the pursuer, let him be the man again. Let him get a little bit suspicious about you, I guess. Um, but don't make it seem like you're doing anything. But just, you know, go do your own thing. And that is what I have for you. And I hope that is helpful. And I am really hoping that that, that helps to resolve some of it. And I do understand the suspicion. It makes sense that there would be some suspicion. And again, one of the other things that they are saying is swap spots with him. You go work with her, let him do the other buildings and see what's what and where it is and how it all falls. Okay, love, I hope that was helpful. I'm going to go to the, the next question on um, online. And you guys, when I try to read these questions, there's lights like blaring in my eyes. So it does take me a moment to read them. I'm so sorry. Hi, Tony. I have a question. There has been a position in New York that has been open for about 10 months. Anton had not inquired about it, but has watched it. Would it be a good opportunity for him? I feel like it's a fake position. I do. I feel like it's a fake position. Um, I don't know why my voice is going like that, but I do feel like it is a position that's not a um, real. I feel like it's a posting and they're just seeing what they can get. And if it is a real position, which it's not, um, the, the pay isn't, the pay isn't, very isn't it's like a bait and switch okay it's a bait and switch thank you so they have this position listed and when you go apply they might say something to the effect of they might interview you see where you are and then offer something else that's lesser status or less lesser pay or both I feel like it's it's a bait and switch or it's not a a real position. I'm sorry about that. Um, but I do feel like if there's something, if, if he does want to change position, there's something coming in this month, possibly in a week, that will be very good. So please keep that in mind and, um, and watch out for that. Okay. And I do feel like finds it on a on a, on, like on a website, but a company website. I hope that makes sense. I, I see the, the website is like, 
there's a lot of blue on the website and it has like a, a round, a round and then these white or it kind of, I think that looks, uh, I'm not saying it's Delta, but it looks a little bit like the Delta colors, but I don't see any red. It's just blue. There's a lot of blue on the website. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's the best I can do right now. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I did 413 or not. Let me let me see. 413, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Amber and I'm calling from Massachusetts. Hey Amber, how can I help you today? Hi, um I was wondering if my mom was coming through at all. Okay, what's your mom's I love first being contacted? What's your mom's first name, love? Her name's Shirley. I'm sorry. You... Shirley? Shirley. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Uh, You're welcome. Yeah. I instantly see a really, uh, I believe it's your mom and a grandmom or great grandmom. Like your mom and her mom, possibly, or your mom and okay. her, her, her. And one of them was very thin when they passed and had short hair and might have done those little pink curlers from the past. Do you know which ones I'm talking about? Yes. 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 Okay, so that's that's one of them. Okay. And then one of them definitely at one point had dark hair, like black hair at one time in their life did mm -hmm. you and was your mom at one point a a little bit more solid of a woman yes okay yes. yeah she's here and so is the the um the other woman grandma mom and grandmom however that works out so uh, did you have a specific question from them for them um I mean, it was just my mom's birthday, so I'm just missing her a little extra hard. So I just wanted to see if she had any message for me. Okay. I'm going to just then do a, 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 a whatever comes through. So sometimes I like to ask if you had a okay. question because otherwise I give the message and then the person asks the question and I feel bad saying no. So here we go. Um, <laughs> the Both of them are going to speak. It's coming from both of them, but it would be um it would be the same message no matter who says it okay and i was having so much trouble because i was hearing a song and i feel like this is your mom giving you this song and uh, please forgive me and i hope i don't hear hurt everybody's ears but it's that song lay your hands on me lay your hands on me so i is that bon jovi jeez louise <laughs> yeah Okay, that song is the first thing that came through. So that should be some sort of confirmation, probably from your mom, not so much Grams. But the next thing that they're yep. saying is I'm seeing white like Gerber. I think they're called Gerber daisies. They're, they have the white petals on the outside with the little yellow or what brown or whatever color fuzzy like whatever center you know you know what daisy those daisies look like those are coming through yeah. so that's another confirmation whenever you see those that they are near and your grandma is saying roses 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 so whenever you see or smell roses and these can all of this can be in pictures tattoos whatever it is that they're around you at that time but they're always around you the next thing they're saying is they're leaving it when you're in your house and they're like you're smelling whatever it is you're smelling that is not a normal like you didn't let's just for example say you didn't cook eggs and bacon but you're smelling eggs and bacon that's them if you you know you smell the scent of rose or you smell this or that or the other thing whenever you smell something out of the norm that's them so they're just wanting to give you a bunch of confirmations that when they're around and lights they definitely your mom especially 
your okay got it okay just one second mama um when lights are flickering that's them and they think it's friggin' hysterical so if lights flicker in your car on your radio on the radio uh -oh. okay sorry i had to they were doing it um any, anything oh excellent thank you thank you thank you and then lay your hands on me is your mom the reason that song came through is because they're always touching you so if you feel like if you feel it like sometimes we feel it like our something in our hair or eyelash they're always touching you they're always touching you okay so just so you know those are their confirmations to let you know that they're still with you and they're sending you so much love in so many different ways and showing you in so many different ways that they are loving up on you. And then your mom is saying about her experience on the other side is the song, loving every minute of it. <laughs> loving every minute. So, <laughs> so I, I'm happy that you have the greatest sense of humor with this because when I just bring it through the way they bring it through, it is often very, very goofy. And it's so I'm so grateful that you're open to that goof goofiness and they are letting you know um they're not going any place they will be with you and um and they're showing me like going up a hill on a bike like there are going to be moments where it's a little bit more difficult to pedal because it's like a, a little kid's tricycle that doesn't have gears where you can shift and make it easier there are going to be moments where it's a little bit more difficult but once you get to the top, you remember you get to fly. So don't let those difficult moments like let you fall, but like slide backwards. Okay. Oh. Okay. I hope that was helpful, love. I really hope that was helpful. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Call back anytime. Um, and if you want to watch live on YouTube, you can do that too. Okay, love. Thank you so much. You are so, so welcome. So welcome. Okay, you guys, I go live every Monday at noon central and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. central. If you go to my TikToks, there are tons of clearings and past shows. There are tons of clearings. So I hope this helps everybody. I try to, um, in the hour show, and it is an hour, I cut it at the hour because it does go on TV. And, you know, they they do an hour on TV. So um, I'm so blessed to have that hour slot. So I try to stay within that hour's time. I'm gonna go to the next question on um, YouTube. And that is Kylie, I'm 44 in Indiana. Any message from Spirit? Okay, Kylie, the way I normally do this is I ask that you ask a specific question or from a specific person, but I'm going to just do this and um, I, you know, I'm just going to say the number one thing that they want to say is about work. Now, this can be a physical, an actual job that you have, but I hear work or it can be something around the house, whatever it is, it has to do with work. Um, I hear work and then I hear the money's coming. I hear if you need to change location, do it. Don't be afraid to like relocate or, or start, start someplace new or something new. So Kylie, that's the message I'm getting for you. I hope that makes sense. And I do hope that that does help you. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 609, 609. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay. 609 is not there. I'm going to go to 516. 516, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony. It's Kavita from New York. How are you? Hey, hey, I'm doing so good. How are you, Kavita? I'm good. Excellent. Um, Tony, uh, my, just a quick question. Um, I have an aunt who lives in England. Her name's Leela. And um, we haven't heard from her in a while, my family and I. We wonder what happened to her. Um, it's very unusual. 
that she doesn't return calls? I would say um, have the have somebody do a courtesy check on her. Yeah. And a courtesy, you know what a courtesy okay. check is, right? Mm -hmm. Where you call yeah, yeah. someplace okay. official and. Um, so I would say that is your next step, sweetie. Do that and you will get your answers, okay? Okay. I'm, um, I'm leaving for Greece in 10 days. Any, any information, any new info? Well, I would love to give you new info, but there isn't any. Plus, I have so many other people waiting, Kavita, but uh, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stick to this. I'm gonna be very clear about this. Do the courtesy check now, like, Okay. Okay, love. It's better to do it okay. sooner okay. rather than later because there are some. It's really important you do the courtesy check, okay? Okay, we'll do. Thank, All right. Thank, thank you, Tony. Thank you, love. And there is nothing. <laughs> just have fun in Greece. That's all I can say about Greece. Just have fun. Okay, I am going to go to uh, Lisa. Lisa. Uh, do I also have any message from spirit? Okay, Lisa, Lisa, uh, by the way, hi, Tony. Hi, Lisa, Lisa. I'm going to try to answer that quickly. Um, I would prefer a more solid question, but, um, I have to look at the time. Okay. Lisa, Lisa, um, what spirit, what would you like to tell her? Um, oh, I don't know the words to the song, but they're, uh, it's a heavy, it's like a heavy metal song. It's like bang your something, metal, eh, something, something. Yeah, sorry. Um, that's a first, like bang your head. If you know the song, you know from those three words. So what I'm gonna say, is she going through a moment of frustration? Why that song, Spirit? Um, Okay, do you, Lisa, Lisa, need um, a frustration release? <laughs> God, after it came out, it hit me. <laughs> do you, like, <laughs> like, you know, a good run <laughs> or boxing at the gym. <laughs> I don't... Oy vey. Uh... <laughs> oh, Lisa, Lisa. Uh, the one thing I'm going to say they're saying is just, um, th then they're singing that song, relax, get, like come to it, something, something. I, gosh, I, why can't I think of the words? Okay, so I'm just going to say this, Lisa. It's it's get up, get out, have fun, get, get uh, like get the, 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 get the like brush it off get up get out have fun get out and th they're just repeating this now get up get out have fun go enjoy yourself call somebody who is a good person for you to laugh with not somebody who dumps all their dumpiness on you somebody you know you can go out and you guys can just laugh and um have so much fun together i have i have a friend like that whenever we talk and no matter how long it's been, we can just freaking crack each other up so much. Um, get get that person, get up, get out and have fun. Just blow off some, that's it, blow off some steam. Okay, Lisa, that's what I have for you. I'm sorry it took so long to bring it through. I'm gonna go to 929, 929, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony, it's Teresa, how are you? I'm good, love, how can I help you, love? Okay, so let me tell you what's going on. Okay, I don't okay, have so much time, you, so you have to make it quick, love. Okay, so the attorney that I'm looking for, it looks like she might have left the company. Okay, so I tried to get in touch with her through LinkedIn. Um, her name is still listed. Uh, her picture is still on the website, but her, her, far as her, as far as her name listed as a partner, she's not listed as a partner. But it looks like she left, okay? Um, I did call the company, and I guess they were kind of like stringing me along. You know, no one didn't call back, so I decided to send her a message to LinkedIn. So my question is, do you think she's going to respond or, you know? 
Um, as of right now, I'm getting oh, a note. I, I think you need to find, have another option available just in case she doesn't. I feel like if she was still at that firm, they would have told you she, I did she move? I don't know that she moved someplace else. I feel like you have to have a second option, a backup person, just in case. I feel like if she does respond, it might take a little bit too long for that response. Okay, love? Mm. Okay, dokie. All right. Thanks. Thank you All so right. much, love. Thank you so much for calling. I hope that was so. Yeah, start looking now so that you can find somebody that can be helpful for you, okay? Okay. Okay, you guys, I'm going to, um, I just have, uh, you know what? I think I'm going to take one more, one more caller who is 518, 518. Um, okay. Hi, Hi Tony. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Um, I know this isn't very specific and anytime I've talked to you in the past, I have been very specific, but I'm kind of I'm following suit with a couple people. I'll make it quick. I just want to see kind of what you see coming up, whether it's work or life or just any messages, just whatever you choose. Do you, do you have an area that's more important to you than another area? Um, oh boy. Because I'm not, um, I, when you say it, I'm um, really um, not hearing anything off the, you know, so just give me an area of your life you want to hear something about. Okay, work. Work. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. You know what, actually, they want to, <laughs> this is, it's the same thing. Huh. They want to talk about money with you because now as soon as I sat back, they're like, money talk about money. Okay. So the biggest thing I want to say is not me. When I say I, it's them. It's not me. They want to tell you right. to start. Um, okay. Start um, like folding. Uh, I don't know if you're going to know what this means. Start folding your money. Start folding your money. I think that means double it because then I heard double it. Uh, if that means you have to do something like on the, not on the side, but something to bring in extra money or way to bring in extra money, start doubling your money, start bringing in more money. They just are saying, find a way to bring in more money. Um, oh, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get some houses to clean, not too many, but just enough for what I know I need to and okay. it's paying off a couple things because I've been more aware of my money. I'm trying really hard. Not that bad, not the best at it yet, but okay. I'm getting there. I so, don't want to. Like, I, will I find a couple houses? Wait, I don't want to. Um, thank oh. you for confirming that. And I really don't like the time is counting down quickly. So I'm going to try to get through it very quickly. One of the things they're saying yeah. is you can organize if you can add, if you can find like somebody who even somebody you've already worked with who needs organization or good spring clean and then the the thing i'm also hearing is if you could work with somebody who does like hoarder houses that might be helpful too because you'll make you'll that will be a project that will last and like you'll make a lot off of it and organizations bring people in to clean hoarder houses and pay them. So those are the three things I'm hearing. If you look at those three things, you are definitely going to find A, B, and or C. Um, and you might find some nice little trinkets you get to keep at the same time. So I would definitely look into that and see what you can. And if you know what another house you could clean out, and I think I said this on one other show, and the another house and the another, another house you could look at is when people pass, the family goes in and takes what they want, and then they have somebody come in and just clean out the rest. Advertise that, that right there, that right there that right there do that do that sweetie um even if you think you can't clean out a house you can you can you just bring in a couple when you have to move the bigger things you do that but 
that right there. So those are the things that I'm getting for you. And I know that takes you in a little bit of a different direction than normal, but I feel like having those options will definitely open up some things for you. Yep, that right there. Okay. Okay. Okay, everybody. Um, I want to give you guys a message that I've been hearing all day and they really wanted me to start off the show with it, but I decided to wait until now to say it and I don't have that much time. So I'm just gonna start to say it. Um, everybody is always asking, why am I here? Why am I like on this earth, on this plane? Why, why am I here? What is this for? And people are very concerned about their purpose. What's my purpose? And your purpose has a lot to do with your passion. But I'm going to tell you, those of us who have incarnated, and I know I'm going to start channeling during this, those of us who have incarnated at this time on this earth have incarnated with a very specific purpose, and that purpose is to bring balance and then tip the scale. To bring balance and then tip the scale. It used to be like this, like we, the light, the faith, the happiness, the joy was up higher and then now it's kind of wavering 50 50 uh sometimes 60 40 sometimes 70 30 um but we need to we can't let it go lower we need to individually which will make it collectively bring it up and in doing that, we just have to be very strong and have our faith and have our light and know that our purpose, we are here on purpose at this time to be here to save whatever you want to call it. I don't want to put titles on it, but to save whatever you want to call it. Um, if it's the earth, if it's, and it, the earth doesn't have to mean like the trees and the ocean it could it could to you but collectively if we are all in a place of faith we will start to tilt the scale back up and we really need to do that um and that is not dependent upon who's in office who's in charge of anything that is all dependent upon us the majority as soon as the majority starts to get back into that space of being collectively joyful and happy and has faith everything is going to be the way it is supposed to be everything will start to go in that direction we were put here for this purpose. I don't want to call it a fight because it's not a fight. It's a way of being. We were put here to be in this way so that we could keep certain things kind of at bay and we could have the scales be very in our favor. Please don't forget that and please do Ninety. Seconds. Whatever it is you can to get to that place. Okay. I hope that was helpful for everybody. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't get to more people because the show is about to end. I do an hour. I'll be back for sure on Monday at noon. If I could not answer you today, come back Monday at noon or next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central, and I'll be happy to uh, get to your call or answer your question in the chat. But thank you. Seconds. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me here today. I'm so grateful for it. Have an amazing rest of the day.